Aloha. How's the lunch? All right. Wow, time passes very, very quickly, isn't it? The events that we just have had has, has been really eye-opening and mind-opening, I hope, as well, in the, next, in the last few days. And I thank you all again for joining us at this annual gathering. And thank you for making this event a priority as well, despite all your busy schedules and other commitments. This conference is only as successful as we make it together, because every participation and contribution is crucial. It's all about ideas, collaborations, and sharing of experiences. And in fact, I would like to add learning. When we kick off PTC 16, I had mentioned that this year, this year's theme is reimagining telecoms, and that we will be spending time using our imagination to see what we can make of all the amazing resources now at our disposal and to leverage the Greek business community we have created, which is our ICT ecosystem. I used science fiction movies as an example on how futuristic ideas can be thought up and then make into reality. In fact, to use the analogy again, we can think that of our ICT industry and ecosystem now at the threshold of a great transition between a prequel and a sequel. The building of the global infrastructure, the creation of our networked planet is the prequel last year, remember? It was a story about our connections, links, and shrinking of the world. Now we're writing the sequel. Now is the next stage where all this great infrastructure, innovative technologies, and modernized lifestyle, including social media, instant chatting, mobile commerce, etc., blend together to create a new story and a new plot. You can think of us as participants in the ICT industry, as the producer and the directors of this sequel. But the important thing is that we're also the audiences, because whilst we are creating this future world with our ideas and projects, we will also be living in it ourselves as member of a new kind of modernized, connected society. So on that note, I wish all of us good luck with the path to the future. I look forward to working with some of you and also seeing the results of how our world be transformed in the next few more years. In closing, I wish to again express gratitude to an impressive list of people without whom the PTC events such as this could not have happened. A big thanks goes to our PTC Board of Governors and our advisory councils, contributions and leadership. Our partner sponsors for their continuing support to make our PTC conference tremendously successful each year. All the delegates, speakers and panelists who have shared their excellent speeches and industry insights. The program committee and the secretaries of the committees, our CEO Sharon Nakama and her team working groups and enthusiastic volunteers who have done so much to distribute the workload of the conference and whose tireless effort have enabled us to manage the large number of contributions received from members. And of course, the members and delegates yourself who have taken part in this conference. As a final note, I would like to share that for me personally, this would be uh, the PTC is, is really a great significance to me because this will be my last year here serving as your chairman. It has been a great honor to chair the PTC since 2014 and I'm thankful for the opportunity to contribute to the PTC and to our industry at large and offer whatever help I could to move all of us forward and embrace a new generation of communications. Thank you for your support all these years, and thank you again for being here with us for PTC 16. Remember, the PTC needs your involvement and participation to remain a success. Be sure you tell your friends about PTC and then encourage them to join, or and let us know how you think we further improve the PTC and this annual gathering. We'd love to get your feedback, and I'll see you all next again next year. Thank you very much. Now help me in welcoming Fedor Smith, president of Atlantic ACM, 
and Douglas Barnett, Partner, Atlantic ACN. Thank you all very much, and thanks to PTC for getting, yet again letting us present our awards here at the closing banquet. Uh, we're here to present the Atlantic ACM 2016 Global Wholesale Report Card Awards. We are a telecom-specific research and strategic consulting firm, firm, and every year we do several studies to look at what customers think of the services they are receiving from carriers. This one look specifically at global wholesale products. We have a number of different operational categories and two very significant product categories because the product categories are based on value, which combines both the product quality and price rating provided by respondents. We had over 1,400 carrier ratings from about 400 customers. So it's a very good data set. And we're here to recognize the carriers that performed uh, exceptionally well in each given category. And to keep things sporting, we separate out the large carriers, those are with 15 billion or more in wireline revenue every year, from the mid-sized carriers, those who don't, don't, uh, don't reach that mark. So starting with the mid-sized carriers, uh, a carrier that performed extremely well last year, Telia Sonera, is our first winner, winning brand, sales reps, service delivery, network performance, billing, customer service, and data value. And we have Brendan Ives, the CEO of Telia, here to accept on behalf of Telia Sierra. It's worth noting that uh, last year they won almost everything as well, but added network performance this year. So year over year, incredible performance. Our next winner, winning for voice value, is Tata Communications. And we're very happy to have Isabella Turcotte here, the VP of Marketing and Communications and Strategy, to accept on behalf of Tata. <laughs> Tata has won several value, product value awards in the past, most recently in 2012. Now, moving on to the large service providers, those with 15 billion or more in annual wireline revenue, our first winner who has not been on this podium for some time, but did extremely well this year, is NTT Communications, who won for brand, service delivery, network performance, billing, and customer service. And we have Brent Duncan, the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Global IP, here to accept on behalf of NTT. <laughs> Up next, winning for sales reps, we have Deutsche Telekom, who has won year over year in a variety of categories, but consistently performed well in this one. And we're very happy to have Maria van der Walt Korsten, the Senior Vice President of International Carrier Sales and Solutions, here to accept on their behalf. <laughs> the product categories for the large carriers were very closely contested. Our next winner is Verizon who in a tie in both categories, one for data value and voice value, and we have Lauren Love Wright here to accept on behalf of Verizon, the Verizon Partner Solutions. <laughs> the first tying carrier is Telefonica, who tied for data value in a very uh, noteworthy performance. And we have David Alvarez, the head of sales for Middle East and Africa and Asia, here to accept on behalf of Telefonica. Thank you, David. <laughs> Telefonica is another carrier that has consistently performed well, winning brand, sales reps, and a variety of other categories in past years. And last, but certainly not least, in the tie for voice value, we have Orange, and we're very happy to have Frederick Duval, the VP of Marketing, Strategy, and Business Development, here to accept on behalf of Orange. Thank you, Frederick. <laughs> so please join me in congratulating the winners of the 2016 Global Wholesale Report Card Awards for their uh, very exemplary performance.
Thank you to all of our winners. Let's give them another round of applause. At this time, I'd love to welcome to the stage the lovely Sharon Nakama, CEO of Pacific Telecommunications Council. Good afternoon. Or am I supposed to say aloha because I didn't hear anybody? Aloha. Okay, thank you. Um, at this time, I would like to call up to the stand Stephen Ho, who kind of already shared his uh, sentiment in thanking everyone for being um, for his time as the president. But I would like to acknowledge that Stephen Ho has been a great president for PTC. You know, he is our past pre immediate past president for 2014 and 2013. And I'm gonna share with you a little custom about Hawaii. These leis that you see everybody wearing, it's supposed to be given with love. Um, it's not only given with love, but when someone takes off their lei and gives it to someone else, it is with love, but it is also with greatest respect. Stephen has been a wonderful president. He has been very supportive, not just he himself, but also with his company. Um, he has been at all the meetings that we've had. We've had a lot of uh, regional meetings around the world, and he has shown up at every single one of them. He has spoken at them, he has shared his staff with us to help us um, help through uh, the, I guess, the logistics through all of these meetings. So I really want to thank Stephen very much for all of his support. Now I'd like to call up Tony Rosabi. I'd like to introduce to all of you Anthony, or as everyone knows him, Tony Rosabi. He is our incoming president for 2016. And we'd like to welcome him with a great aloha and an applause. <laughs> we look forward to working with Tony. Uh, he has a lot of plans to help us progress and move into the future. And we're really excited for that. And we also know that Stephen, even though he is the past president, he's going to help us quite a bit as well. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Please welcome Dr. Elizabeth Fife, co-chair of the research committee, to the stage to present the PTC 16 Research Award winners and the 2016 PTC Young Scholars. And Mark Chen, my co-chair, please join me. Hi there, aloha. <laughs> Uh, I'm really pleased um, and happy to be here today to announce the, uh, the winners of our several research prizes that we have um, uh, today. Our first prize is the O.S. Bronstein Prize for the Best Student Paper. And this award was won by Marcella Gomez. Please come up here, Marcella. <laughs> Yay. Um, Marcel is a PhD student at the University of Pittsburgh, and her paper is, uh, looks at spectrum sharing, and the title is Wireless Network Virtualization as an Enabler for Spectrum Sharing. And she actually did a poster that's still out there if you want to uh, look at it, and the paper is online as well. So, uh, congratulations.
Yes, I need glasses now. <laughs> Been here too long. <laughs> uh, secondly, I'd like to introduce the uh, winner of our research paper prize. Chen, make your way up. This is the Mihiro Juswala uh, Research Paper Prize. And Chen, Chen Liu is an associate professor in the School of Economics and Management at Southwest Zhetong University in China. And his paper is on broadband policy in China. And the title of his paper is The Decade-Long March Towards a Nation Online, um, The Evolution of China's Broadband Policy. So congratulations, Chen. <laughs> Okay, next on our agenda, um, this year we're recognizing uh, five outstanding up-and-coming scholars in telecom, and this is through the, the Young Scholar Program, and this has been instituted to help uh, make sure that we are engaging with current issues in the field of, uh, of telecom, and we have the best and brightest representing PTC in, in our group, and in our research community going forward. So why don't the young scholars make your way up here and we'll announce you. So their papers cover a range of interesting and important topics. Um, spectrum sharing, global e-waste, uh, broadband access in Indonesia, um, online ad effectiveness. So quite this uh, range of topics here. Okay, first up, we have uh, Rishab Dara, who is a PhD student at the Indian Institute of Management, IIM, in Ahmedabad, India. And his paper is on spectrum management. Uh, hot topic. Uh, the title of his paper is Adv Advocacy Coalitions in the Spectrum Management Policy Subsystem in India. So, congratulations. Next in line here, we have uh, Jenna Greslow. She's a PhD student at Pennsylvania State University. And her paper is on the global e-waste problem, which is growing, uh, apparently. Uh, and the title of her paper is An Exploration into the Global E-Waste Problem, Moving Towards the Responsible Lifecycle Management of Mobile Phones. So congratulations, Jenna. <laughs> uh, next up. Uh, uh, Sujirwato, and uh, he is a, re a researcher and lecturer in the Department of Public Administration in Rawidja University, I'm sure I mangled that, um, University in Indonesia, and his paper is on the internet uh, divide in Indonesia. Congratulations, Sujirwato. Next, uh, Fen Yang, who's a, a PhD student also at the College of Communications at Penn State um, University. And her paper was on uh, uh, the Internet of Things. The title is From Innovators to Power Users, the Role of Power Usage in Driving Adoption of the Internet of Things. Congratulations, Ben. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have uh, Yanwei Zhang. Uh, from my own university, um, University of Southern California. Fight on. Now, his, <laughs> his paper is uh, entitled, What Drives Ad Vir Virality? Virality, excuse me. Um, he's in the Marshall School of Business and has recently completed his, uh, his doctorate. And like I said, from USC, congratulations. <laughs> so this is our group. Congratulations to all the winners. Join me in welcoming Bruce Drake, member of the PTC Board of Governors and Chair of the Awards Committee to present the 2016 Richard J. Barber Distinguished Service Award. Aloha. 
Good. Our Richard Barber Award is intended to recognize those who have provided exceptional service to PTC over a significant period of time. We had strong candidates to consider for 2016, and my thanks to all of you who submitted nominations. But in the end, unanimously we selected an individual who for two decades has gone above and beyond for our organization. Our choice has organized, recruited for, and personally participated in successful panels year after year, often more than one per conference. And all of you here who have done so yourself will appreciate how much dedication and hard work this calls for. In addition, she established and manages a highly valued breakfast session for women at PTC. She has done all this while flawlessly providing the professional legal counsel, which is part of her firm's ongoing commitment for sponsorship. As one of many on the board who have benefited from her counsel, I can attest that she is always prepared, always knowledgeable, always thorough, and always balanced. Most irritatingly, I can add, she is also inevitably correct. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 Richard Barber Award recipient, Tara Gianta.